what businesses do immigrants start in Canada, guys? I have a lot of people asking me this question. But luckily, being into real estate, I've met a lot of immigrants who started their own businesses. And I wanted to share with you in this video, guys, so that you know which kind of most popular businesses immigrants start. And I might even give you a little bit of an idea on what you can make from it. So keep watching, guys. Well, number one most popular one is truck drivers. Well, there are some truck drivers who are working for a company. They don't make as much money. You know, they make a lot according to Canadian standards. But if you are self-employed and truck owner, operator, a long-haul driver, guys, it hits a lot of money. Now, it's bad on your health. I heard about families falling apart because of that, because of the husband being far away. Now, I know there are some truck drivers who are ladies, but predominantly it's a male job, male dominated. And because ladies, they're not going to take that much of abuse of doing that kind of job, but it pays a lot. Here's why they're doing it. Well, there's a guy who is running Teslas from the United States to Canada. And he told me you can easily make about $22,000 in one month. So that's one of the reasons why immigrants start that kind of business. If you have your own truck, you can make a lot of money being far away from family, but you can. And it's not popular only amongst Punjabis. Some people would say, oh, it's mostly Punjabis. No, people where I'm from, Ukraine, I haven't seen Russian guys from Belarus, Eastern Europeans. For some reason, we have that similarity. We all like to make a lot of money like that. But anyways, what is the next occupation? That's pretty simple. I was going to do it myself. I almost got licensed to become an immigration consultant. I did immigration law. I studied immigration law in Canada. But I decided not to become one. But that's an intuitively really interesting profession. Because people who came to Canada figured out the way how to get it done. They were like, why can I not help others? They would get the licensing. There's only one year to study. I spent about $10,000 for studying. Right now it's about fifteen or twenty thousand dollars to get the studying done. You get the exam cleared, you open a bank trust account, and voila, you're an immigration consultant licensed. You can represent people. Now you can help other people like you helped yourself when you came to Canada. Really honorable job. Pays pretty well. I know consultants who make as low as sixty thousand dollars a year or as high as hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year. A lot of money you can make by doing immigration consulting. Then if you have your own business and you have a bunch of people working for you, you can scale it up even more. So really interesting, guys. Profession. Now, of course, it doesn't end the list of people who are immigrants doing jobs. I think one second most popular after the truck drivers, maybe even the first one would be construction. Journeyman. Also, a lot of people from my country are there. I mean, electrician, plumber, Carpenter, you know, all of those occupations, drywallers, you know, why you work outside? In fact, when you come to Canada, when you start, it's like difficult to find jobs, right? Well, right now it's not. Right now there is shortage of labor. But in the past, when there was unemployment, when it was difficult, construction was still booming here in Calgary, for example. So a lot of people would be like, hey, I'm going to be doing construction job. They join, they start off 20 bucks an hour, half a year later they're already making 22, then they become apprentice, they become an apprentice, uh, they sign up for apprenticeship to become a journeyman, so it's like having a license to do that. They would study for it every year, doing the exams, it's like three or four years sometimes the program takes, so you study and while you're studying you're getting paid, and then you go to school for, for a month or so. And while you're in school, you're getting paid by the government for going to school. So in short, you start off with a lot of money comparatively to other occupations, office occupations. And in a very short span of time, you become licensed. And now you can either work for companies making 30, 40, 45 bucks an hour. Or you can start your own business, your own company, roofing, what, whatever, electrical and whatever you want to do. A lot of my, people from my country do windows and doors because it's just easy and it's a lot of money in it. <laughs> You'll find a lot of people from my country doing that. <laughs> Anyways, you make a lot of money from it and you have your own business. So I would say probably majority of people from where I am from 
would go into construction and truck driving besides people from North India they also like becoming truck drivers for some reason that's kind of our culture of similarity I guess and next part about it is now this one is huge people coming from Philippines from China from India Peruvian people like from everywhere even African guys they come here and they're like hey look there's something missing like some part of my home country is missing and then they start a business that is a restaurant business and I've seen people running around unfortunately some of them give it up and they just start a pizza shop because like Canadians like to eat pizza a lot it's just you, you, be, you know if you watched my videos guys in the beginning when I was skinnier and now I'm gaining weight I have to eat less pizza so basically <laughs> a lot of people are starting businesses like that and they just bring part of their culture into Canada and everyone can enjoy their cuisine and they provide jobs and it pays really well some people are a little bit lazy they would just buy a bunch of McDonald's or Tim Hortons franchises or the easiest one I think it's Subway but I heard it doesn't pay much I might be wrong from the business owner who did Subway he said they take like 12% cut I don't know if it's true or not but he has a different business now guys as I'm telling you I'm making this video based on my experience of the people that I spoke to the people that I know how they are doing now another popular occupation guy says well guess what I do for a living right now and that is a business it's a real estate so a lot of immigrants go into real estate here is why you should go into real estate I'm a realtor here in Calgary Alberta with EXP Realty helping a lot of people buy houses sell houses there is a house coming up for sale on Monday I'm doing an inspection on a property I'm getting myself a third mortgage tomorrow so th there's a lot of interesting things that I'll tell you more about my house later on I'm doing expanding my equity in Canada anyways so here's what happens with, with, with real estate you might be from Lebanon, Lebanon huge Lebanese uh, community huge you might be from Sri Lanka huge community Philippines huge Turkish community oh it's not so big in Canada do you really know how many Turkish people we have in Canada there is an Anatolian restaurant in downtown it's just amazing you can drink tea until you explode I can out drink Turkish people in in tea drinking I can drink a lot of tea just so you know it fits inside so anyways they would only go Turkish people would prefer working with Turkish people Ukrainian people would prefer working with Ukrainian people Chinese people they need someone who speaks Mandarin or Cantonese I don't know so you are basically like guys can this land of immigrants becoming a realtor you are already having an advantage over anyone else from Canada who only speaks English now if you speak Hindi you can get an in, or Punjabi you know you know one extra language you have the entire costume base for yourself for people who would want to deal with you because you come from the same place and believe me there is a lot of people who are immigrants from your region so real estate is huge you're gonna find a really successful people from different cultural backgrounds it doesn't matter which race or culture you're from in fact if you have a different race and different culture and more uh, language abilities you have more money and more customers in real estate and immigration consulting and well and anything basically oh there is a beef line anyways guys next part is I dealt with a lot of people who are Im immigrants uh, starting all sorts of businesses I've seen consultants I've seen people who have their own IT companies they literally get outsourced by other companies to do IT projects for them in Canada and of course my friends from Ukraine I studied in Centennial College as well the guy is doing basically a lot of businesses like logistics and appliance repairs and something else into online marketing three kinds of businesses and also an immigrant like me from Ukraine and if you look at another guy I know who is a Russian guy he does appliance deliveries and he and another guy I know another Russian speaking guy he does 
moving he has like oh moving by the way not sponsored by these guys unfortunately you hold didn't pay me anything but it's just that i'm just lucky for this truck to be in front of me so a lot of people here in canada would prefer paying for moving services and people start their businesses like that yeah, it's all about entrepreneurship and doing your own thing now guys i want to tell you something i don't know if it's a secret or not i don't think it's a secret if you have your own business you make more money in canada or even if you you know even if you make less money in canada you pay less taxes if you own your business i mean if you make same amount of money you get to keep more because canadian legislation is built in such a way that you know you cannot write off your vehicle expenses if you're driving to work but if you're a business owner a consultant and you're driving to meet a client which is your work you can write off your gas maintenance internet your equipment that you're using it's interesting guys how the structure of the taxation is working here now i don't know much about taxes guys i give like i give the entire shoe box of my taxes and all of the things to a cpa and he does it for me charges me a lot of money though that's the only uh, that's the only down part but then he tells me exactly how much i own to the government and i go ahead and pay it but in reality what i see from the business owners in canada is that you get to keep more if you have your own business in canada uh, businesses corporations pay a little bit less taxes from my experience now if yeah, i might be wrong guys what let me know in the comments down below what you think do businesses actually pay more taxes than regular people i would be surprised if they do anyways that's an encouragement from the government to start more businesses in fact with the city of calgary right now if you look around literally guys in the city of calgary you can get a business license right now for free for for example if you're doing airbnb that's one of the things that i do and that's another thing that people start hotel management other things so in short whatever you are planning to do here in canada and whatever you are doing here and people are like i want to hear what's going on i'm going to get i'm going to walk away because the lady is like i want to hear what's happening subscribe to my channel and you'll find out anyways let's go that way i'm going to get run over <laughs> Anyways, guys, <laughs> as the lady, literally, she was walking the same speed with me, and just I can I can see her with my peripheral vision. I'm like, just like, don't be like, don't don't walk with this, like, don't be so obvious that you want to hear what I'm going on, I'm giving a very confidential information that no Canadian should know, and that is, is that if you don't start your own business in Canada, guys and you're going to work for somebody else your entire life it's only good for a couple of things getting the mortgage approved getting employment insurance getting your pension a fail sell sense of security so i want to encourage every one of you guys who are watching this channel if you have the guts if you have and you do have because immigrants who are watching this channel have 50 percent chance according to the research but done by someone i don't remember just google it you'll see it's some in the united states they did the research are two times like 50 percent i think it's like not two times like 50 percent or so. basically guys way more chances of becoming entrepreneurs and i beg you guys you took a risk to come to canada you did your immigration start a business do not be somebody else's employee your entire life because this pension is very less the income tax the more you make is way higher it's a little bit different from for businesses find out with your accountant i'm just telling you that right now and do what you love find the job that you like and if you do the job that you like that pays you really well and you really love to do what you do just make it into your own business guys whatever you do so there's no restrictions you have the advantage of knowing a language having access to the customer base that the person who was born in canada doesn't have access to like me i speak ukrainian and russian i already have a segment of people that i can deal with 
uh, that are more comfortable to talk to somebody in their own native languages. You might be speaking in Hindi and Urdu, you might be speaking in Chinese, I mean uh, Mandarin, or you might be speaking in Turkish and other languages. Just take advantage of it. You are already blessed to be in this country. Don't think that just because you have an accent you are struggling and you won't be successful. Don't think about that. And after that, you can deal with those people who don't even speak your language because you know English. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Start your own business and let me know in the comments down below. I hope this video inspired you and I want to see, I want to meet some of you five years from now running a successful business and I want to shake your hand. See you soon, guys.